Hey, what's going on? Coach Mark here. Wanted to share with you just something I'm very, very passionate about, and that's pizza. I want to share with you how not to gain weight and eat pizza, or how to eat pizza and not gain weight. And uh, first off, I'm not going to get into the discussion, but just really quick, New York pizza, thin slice pizza over, thin crust pizza over, thick all day long so just you can turn this off right now if you are a thick crust pizza lover uh you can't be in my world go ahead find somebody in chicago do that but this new yorker although i'm in florida now my my heart is thin crust pizza and unfortunately where well, there's some decent pizza places here new york a new york slice when you can go into new york city and get a slice any time of the day that to me is just oh uh, in fact, I, I can smell I can smell it right now. So what I want to share with you is how how can we enjoy pizza? Now I'm talking to the person who's like me, a little older, buys a little maybe slower, metabolism is maybe not the same as it used to be. And truly, you can still enjoy pizza. Uh, let me just kind of back up a minute and just say that you can't be a jerk about eating pizza. In other words, you can't eat pizza three, four times a week and think you're going to lose weight on that. Well, and I'm not talking about, oh, well, if I eat the the uh, gluten-free crust and the cauliflower crust and all that stuff. I'm not talking about the imitation stuff, the fake stuff. I'm talking about just a good New York slice of pizza or a couple of slices of pizza, enjoying that on uh, maybe even a weekly basis, a slice here, a couple of slices, no big deal. So how do you do that and not gain weight? How do you enjoy? It's one of my favorite foods. In fact, we've made trips around in New York City. We've made trips, my wife and I and even our family have gone just around the food and around pizza. And again, as it is something that's so simple, right? And you're like, oh, well, we just, I don't eat bread. I know bread's going to... Okay, if you don't like bread at all, you're going to need to leave here now because it's something, again, bread is not terrible for you, but if you're a jerk about eating bread, just like you, if you're a jerk about eating pizza, then it's not going to do you any good, especially if you're trying to lose weight. So let's get right to it. Excuse me, a little allergy. Stuff's blowing around here in sunny Florida. It's colder, but all the pollen and junk. So let's get down to it. Pizza, how do you do it? Well, you can actually turn back the clock and go back to when you were in your 20s and maybe could throw down two, three, four, five slices of pizza, no problem, and wake up the next day and feel fine, you know? And unfortunately, if you have that time machine, please let me know because I want to do it. Or the next best thing. The next best thing is to get your body conditioned in a way, and, and by no means am I saying you can out train a bad diet and say, hey, you just work out hard and enjoy your pizza all you want. I'm not saying that. But if you condition your body and your health around healthy lifestyle, healthy habits, healthy eating, exercise, particularly where you're going to keep your muscles as strong as you can for as long as you can. So as we get older, our body slows down or, or you hear about osteoporosis. So the same thing happens with our muscles. It's called osteo or it's called, sorry, sarcopenia. And that's where our muscles start to, you know, you don't use it, you lose it. Over time, you get weaker. We get older, it's just what happens. But you can delay that process. In fact, even if you're my age in your 40s and you haven't done that, you can put some muscle and strength back on your body. And the good thing is when you do that, you can generate your body's ability to metabolize more and require more fuel. And that's where a little bit of pizza is okay. It's not too bad. So if you could do the time machine, go back in time, get yourself back into your 20s and go enjoy all the pizza you want. Or option two is for you to condition your body to eat healthy 80% of the time, maybe even 75% of the time. And in other words, if you're going to choose, let's just say out of 100 meals, you know, 100 meals, you're going to choose 75 that are healthier, go ahead, or, or maybe 80 that are healthier, go ahead and have 20 meals over the next whatever amount of meals and have a slice of pizza. Enjoy it. It's not going to ruin you. It's when you start to make that, make the pizza, and you start to idle it, and you start to have it all the time. You don't start to enjoy it. And then it's like, why even bother, right? So here's one thing I've learned, and this is with any food, but pizza. Five slices of pizza is not going to taste any better than four slices of pizza or three slices of pizza. So again, mindset. 
So how do you get around? Well, I really, I want to enjoy more. I want more. I want more, right? It's like our consumerism. And when it comes to food, especially something as delicious as cheese pizza. But here's the thing. If you're in the direction of eating healthier, maybe your quantity of your food, your portions are smaller, and you do that 80% of the time, you're not going to be able to eat the five or four or five slices of pizza. Now, I'm not talking about little tiny you know, frozen pizzas, a little squares. I'm talking like a good slice of pizza, three, 400 calories, maybe cheese, gooin, and some tomato sauce and good crust. That's what I'm talking about. Like real pizza, New York pizza. So can you tell that I like pizza? Now, here's the thing that I've learned over time. And as I'm kind of rounding the corner, getting closer to 50, I can still enjoy my pizza, but I don't have it all the time. And I don't have five or six slices of it. I learned just to enjoy one or two slices and it'd be really good. Or if I get, you know, a smaller piece, maybe three slices of pizza, something like that. And I just don't make it. And I really, I found that when I don't have it so often that I tend to enjoy it. I tend to appreciate the taste of it. And even if it's not from New York, I try to enjoy it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll get on a flight right now if you want to go to New York and we can go share a pizza and I might eat a little bit more. And that's okay because I don't, just don't do it very often. So, rounding out this how do you enjoy pizza how do you not lose weight and still enjoy pizza or enjoy your pizza without putting on weight is you make sure that the majority of time you spend eating so if you look at the course of a week let's say three meals a week or i'm sorry three meals a day seven meals a week let's say 21 meals and you have a slice or two of pizza of one of those 21 meals it's not going to ruin your world it's not going to wreck your weight loss efforts but let's say but Say your week gets crazy and Monday night, uh, let's just order a pizza and then you order like two of them because it's buy one, get one and you have leftovers and that becomes breakfast and maybe not lunch the next day and that's three meals within two days of pizza. Don't get, uh, and don't think I haven't done this before. Then that becomes to then Friday night, I don't feel like cooking, you know what, let's try this other pizza place out. Next thing you know, out of your 21 meals in the week, three meals a day, seven days a week, 21 meals, is that three to four of them now are pizza. Well, you know, you can do the math and add it up and if those extra calories are adding in and you're not accommodating those to the rest of your day and your food and your eating, then you're going to struggle with weight loss. Same with the holidays. Holidays don't crush, Thanksgiving and Christmas do not crush us. It's all of the in-betweens. It's not the the meal you have on Christmas, it's the stuff leading up to it or not wanting to cook or family in town and the wine's open and you got the alcohol and the parties and the stress and you want more alcohol and then you have more pizza nights and you have all those things and then that's where you can really, then your New Year's, like if you're thinking about New Year's resolutions and we have a couple weeks left, if you were to start right now versus wait till then, you're probably going to be at an advantage versus blowing it out in the next couple of weeks and then starting January 1st to only fail a few weeks later like 80 to 90% of the people do who start New Year's resolutions. So enjoy your pizza. Not all the time. Enjoy good pizza. New York pizza. Not Chicago pizza. None of that thick crust stuff. It's good, but it's like it's like cake or something. It's like, I don't know. It's like a stew. It's like pizza stew, you know? It's like soup and stew. You want pizza, you get a nice thin crust of pizza. And I can say calories for calories. I would imagine you probably could have the third slice of thin crust pizza versus the third slice of thick crust pizza. It's like putting two or three pieces of pizza on top of each other. And who does that nonsense anyway? So anyway, I hope this helps. Reach out to me if you got any more questions. Coach Mark, take care. This is a throwback Thursday because I'm just throwing back to the days where I could just throw down a whole bunch of pizza. Take care and God bless. We'll see you.